Namaste. Hello and welcome. Thank you for participating in today's practice and all levels vinyasa style flow. My name is Alia from Alia Yoga and What's Wellness Podcast. And today's practice and hour together that will begin in a comfortable reclined position. Please make your way slowly all the way onto your back with your knees bent and your feet flat. Let your arms go along by your sides or wherever they're comfortable. And as you get cozy here, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Begin your practice by creating a relationship with your breath, where you connect to every inhalation and create some softness in your body with every exhalation. Begin to focus on your breath right away today. Breathing in through your nose and out of your nose or your mouth for now. As you connect to your breath and connect with your body, Invite an intention for harmony, harmonizing every cell in your being and allowing your body to move towards optimum vitality and wellness. Creating that intention in your mind and in your heart or any intention that resonates with you today. With your inhales, Breathe your intention in for yourself. And when you exhale, send your intention for harmony out to the world. Take a few more breaths like this. Meditate and cultivate your intention. And prepare your mind and your body for your practice today. Stay as you are for an inhale. When you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles. Draw your navel to your spine. Continue to breathe, palms down on the ground, just outside the sides of your body. And pick up your feet, drawing your knees towards your chest, keeping your palms flat on the mat. Low abdominal activation, Press into your hands and lift your seat an inch off the ground, knees closer to your chest. When you inhale, lower your seat, your low back down. And when you exhale, lift your seat away, knees towards your chest or your chin. Inhales to lower and exhales you lift. It's a small, subtle movement that creates a lot of strength for deep, low abdominal muscles. Knees stay bent, palms stay flat, keep going for five. You'll pause in four. Squeeze your core last three. Feel the deep muscles strengthen for two. Last one, do one more here. And when your lower back touches down, Bring your arms around your shins and give your legs a squeeze. Drawing your thighs closer to your belly and your chest and rock side to side to massage your back. A little bit more work reclined, pause at the center. Set your feet down and your arms by your sides on the ground. Heels stay close to your seat. Touch them with your fingers if possible. And peel your lower back away from the mat, keeping your mid and upper back down. So just the very bottom of your spine lifts away. Feel the engagement in the front of your thighs. Turn on your glutes and start to lift your mid back off the mat. Roll weight to your shoulder blades, full bridge. Lift your whole back away. Just your shoulder blades and the back of your neck stay down. Squeeze your glutes and engage your thighs. 
stay like this or option for little pulses to further engage the back of your body. Posterior chain activation for five. Keep going or hold for four. Squeeze your glutes last three. And breathe for two. And one. Seat up for an inhale. Exhale, lower slowly. Mid back, lower back, and the base of your spine. Pick up your feet again, knees to your chest for a squeeze. Now extend your feet straight up to the sky and hold the back of your thighs. Take legs up the wall pose and feel the back of your legs gently stretch. Breathe here and bring some movement to your feet. Circles with your ankles. Pause your feet, reach your arms straight forward, and with your next exhale breath, lift your head and shoulder blades off your mat. Little pulses with your legs up, arms forward, and shoulder blades off the mat. Use your exhales to lift and inhales to lower. If needed, support the back of your head with your hands interlaced. Keep going for five. Boat pose in four, strong core for three. You'll stay lifted in two and one. Lift up, use a little momentum with your legs. Drop your heels down and lift your chest up. Good job, bend your knees, hold the back of your thighs and rock and roll a couple of times, two or three. When you're ready at the top, find high plank pose. Cross your ankles. Roll over them and send your feet back to the top of a push-up. Breathe here with joints stacked, wrists beneath shoulders. Heels press firmly behind you. Stay like this for one breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your seat to the sky. We'll get to tabletop, cat, cow, and child's pose soon, but first warm up your down dog. Turn up your breath and pedal out your feet. Alternate a bend in one knee and then the other. And find any gentle movements that feel good. Still breathing mindfully as you stretch out and warm up. If you haven't already, begin to activate your ujjayi pranayama. Start to practice yogic breath. Lips seal now and the muscles in the back of your throat engage. Turn up the qualities of sound and texture with every breath cycle. Your next ujjayi inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, find ragdoll. Walk your feet behind your hands. Stay folded forward with your feet apart, hip width distance or wider. And reach for your elbows. Put a bend in your knees and let your upper body sway slowly from side to side. Feel this stretch the back of your body and lengthen the back of your thighs. Either stay like this or chest expansion grip. You have the option now to interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your knuckles towards the ceiling and press the top of your head towards the ground. Take a breath where you are. And when you exhale, release your hands down. Fingertips to the ground and either keep your feet like this or heel toe your feet together for a halfway lift. Hands above or below your knees or light fingertips on your mat. Flatten your back and squeeze your shoulder blades. Option to keep your hands where they are or wing your arms behind you 
and to activate your triceps. Strong core and strong breath in. When you exhale, fold forward and tuck your chin. Slowly rise all the way up to stand and circle your arms up over your head. Inhale at the top, palms touch. Exhale, equal standing pose, hands to the center of your heart. Find your equal weight distribution between both of your feet and feel yourself ground down into your foundation. As you root down, energetically grow taller. With length in your spine, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Call your intention in when you inhale. Send it out to the world with your exhale. Harmonizing breath in. Exhale, arms by your sides and open your eyes. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up for the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart or swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank pose, palms flat, step back, top of a push up. You've been here before already, hands shoulder width, wrist beneath your shoulders. Stay like this on the ball mountains of your feet or lower your knees to your mat. When you inhale, shift weight forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bend your elbows slowly, elbows into your ribs. Up dog or cobra, take a couple of breaths. Thighs can stay down with bent elbows for up, for cobra rather, or arms straight with thighs off the mat for upward facing dog. Prepare for child's pose when you inhale. Exhale, knees down, slide your big toes together and ease your seat towards your feet. Extend your arms forward and rest your forehead down. As you remain in child's pose, a few cycles of breath, really focus on your ujjayi pranayama. Turn up the volume and the quality. Powerful inhale. Smooth ujjayi exhale. Continue to breathe and make your way to tabletop position. Slow transition to all fours. Stack your joints when you arrive, knees beneath your hips. Breathe in and lift your chin, lift your tailbone. Exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin. Inhale, cow pose. Lift up, look up and open your chest. Exhale, cat pose, round and curl, press the mat away. One more time on your own, breathe in and lift up, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine and curl in. Inhale, tabletop position. Exhale, downward facing dog, glide back. Stay for a breath in and exhale all the way out. Inhale, heels up, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop, return to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, option to reach back. Exhale, fold forward and soften your knees. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to the center of your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, mountain, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold forward, little bend in your knees, lower down. 
Inhale, halfway lift, reach back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana from your toes or your knees to your mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your seat. Stay in down dog for two cycles of breath. Feel length in your body and length with your breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Flow again. Inhale, heels up. Look ahead. Exhale, knees bend. Travel light to the top. Step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach back. Option. Exhale, fold forward and stretch. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, relax your arms down. Inhale, mountain, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward, dive down, touch the ground. Halfway lift when you inhale, perhaps you reach back. Chaturanga as you exhale, toes or knees to your mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your seat. Send your right leg high and take a breath in. Hip roll as you exhale, bend your knee, stack your hip. Make some circles, open up across your right hip and the right side of your body. Keep your right leg lifted when you pause the movement and level your hips. Press through your heel when you inhale. Right knee to your nose option as you exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge or warrior one. Either keep your back heel lifted as you rise, arms to sky. Or seal your back foot flat for warrior one instead. Either way, square your hips forward and engage your left glute muscle. Stay like this with your arms or interlace your hands to the back of your head and lean your head back into your hands. Keep the breath steady, your heart joyful, and open the front line of your body. Realign your spine when you inhale and reach up high. Find warrior two when you exhale. Seal your back foot flat, reach your right arm forward and your left arm back. Adjust your stance if needed so that you have front heel to back arch alignment in your feet. Arms are straight and strong. Gaze over your right fingers. Option to lift your right heel up and deepen the bend in your right knee. If your right heel is lifted, set it back down and reach forward when you inhale. Exhale, side angle, right arm lowers and left arm lifts. Stay like this, find your breath or extend left bicep by left ear. Option to bring right hand to your heart, sending harmony to every cell in your body. Keep your legs strong, your core muscles on. And let's stay the same for reverse warrior on an inhale. Slowly reach your right arm high. Shift your upper body back and feel a stretch up the right side. Keep both shoulders relaxed while you inhale in. And exhale, look down, bring two hands to the ground. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, flow, high to low, nice and slow. Up dog or cobra when you inhale. 
Exhale, downward facing dog and switch sides. Send your left leg high, continue to breathe and bend your left knee. Stack left hip on top of the right and make some circles. Open up across the left side. Keep your left leg lifted when you level your hips and press through your heel. Take a full breath in. Knee to nose option as you exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, three-legged dog, re-extend. And exhale, low lunge, step left foot between your hands. Crescent lunge or warrior one, breathe in as you rise. Stay like this and breathe with back heel lifted or seal your back foot flat. This time chest expansion grip option. Interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. Further the bend in your front knee. Lift your chest and lift your chin. Widen your collarbones for three. Realign your spine in two. And one, inhale, reach up, both arms high. And exhale, warrior two, back foot flat, arms out wide. Settle in on this side, find alignment in your feet. Option to lift your left heel off your mat and further the bend in your left knee. Gaze over your left finger. And set your left heel down, reach forward and breathe in. Exhale, side angle stretch. Left forearm, left thigh, right arm to the sky. Or extended right bicep by right ear. Take a few breaths like this. Bring left hand to your heart if you'd like. And feel your strength and your balance. Now reverse warrior on an inhale. Keep the bend in your front knee. Shift back with your torso and lift your left arm high. Gaze up or down or towards your back foot. Feel left side body stretch. Generous inhale. And exhale, look down, hands to the ground. Step back when you breathe in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, or straight to down dog. Inhale, up dog or cobra, if you cycled through. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. That's your sun B flow today. You'll go as fast or as slowly as you breathe. Prepare to flow one breath to one movement. Keep your left foot down. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, right knee to your nose option. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step forward and rise. Inhale, warrior one or crescent. Exhale, warrior two, and breathe in to reach forward. Exhale, side angle stretch or variation. Inhale, reverse warrior, stay low and reach high. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, optional Ekapada. If you'd like the challenge, you may float your right leg. Inhale, chest up, shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog to switch sides. Breathe in and lift your left leg high. Exhale, left knee to your nose, squeeze your core. That's it, inhale, three legs. Exhale, low lunge, big step. Rise when you inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open. Take your time, inhale, reach. Exhale, side angle variation. Inhale, reverse warrior, dance with your breath. 
Exhale, hands to your mat, left foot steps back. Optional flow with Ekapada challenge. Up dog or cobra when you inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath in. And an open mouth, exhale. Another inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, right knee to your nose, squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward and rise. Breathe in, arms high. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Reach forward when you inhale. Exhale, side angle variation. Inhale, reverse warrior, listen carefully. Exhale, warrior two, arms out wide. Star pose, straighten your legs, heels in and toes out. Reach your arms up. Face the long side of your mat. Take a breath in. Horse pose as you breathe out. Bend your knees, hands to the center of your heart. Point your tailbone down and feel your lower abdominal muscles engage. Draw your palms to your thighs, send your chest forward, and dip your left shoulder down and look to the right. Continue to breathe and switch sides. Right shoulder low, look to the left. Take it back to center, tailbone still points down. Draw your palms back together, hands to your heart. Tall spine and soft shoulders. Optional challenge, lift two heels off the mat and sit low for three. Chest stays up for two. Good job, and one, heels down. Inhale, star pose, legs straight, arms up. Exhale, parallel the arches of your feet, arm shoulder height. Take a back bend when you inhale, lift your heart. And then fold forward as you exhale. Send your seat back and your heart forward. Bring your hands to the mat or reach for the outer edges of your feet. Bend one knee and then the other. Shift from side to side a couple times. Go slowly, breathe deeply and feel your inner thighs stretch. One more time, to the right and to the left. And make your way back through center, prepare for low lunge. Draw your hands to the mat and walk them towards your right foot. Pivot all 10 toes to point forward. Look forward when you inhale. And take a step forward as you exhale, bring your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, you may reach back. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees. Inhale, mountain pose, legs straight, arms high. Exhale, equal standing pose, hands to heart, close your eyes. Take a powerful inhale. And a grateful exhale. Arms by your sides, open your eyes, breathe in and find mountain. Exhale, chair legs with hands to heart. Stay like this a couple breaths, set up your legs, weight in your heels. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, twist to the right, prayer twist pose. Connect left elbow to the outer edge of your right thigh. Stay low in your chair, squeeze your legs, and keep your core abdominal muscles engaged. Stay low for three. Chair pose in two. 
And one, chair pose. Unravel the twist. Option to reach up for one inhale. Hands to heart as you exhale, turn to the left. Second side of your twist. Right elbow connects outer edge of your left thigh. I know you've been here a while with your knees bent. Squeeze your glutes for three. Can you sit even lower for two? And one, forward fold is your release. Upper body over your legs. Take a halfway lift, reach back and breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana as you exhale or straight to down dog for a second side. Cycle through if you choose. Downward facing dog awaits you. A few slow breaths here, slow it down and smooth it out. Prepare for the flow on your second side and then adding on. Right foot stays down. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee to your nose, give it a kiss. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, rise up and reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open. Reach forward and breathe in. Exhale, side angle variation. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Warrior two as you exhale, arms out wide. Star pose, heels in, toes out, arms up. Find horse pose, bend your knees, hands to your heart. Stay like this and breathe, sit low into your squat. Activate your glutes and your abdominal muscles. Stay like this or reach up on an inhale. Hands to your heart, sit lower as you exhale. Two more times, they're optional. Breathe in to reach up. And breathe out to sit low. Last time, if you'd like. And hands to the center of your heart. Super strong. Inhale, star, legs straight, arms high. Exhale, arms wide, parallel the arches of your feet. Chest high when you inhale. Fold forward when you exhale. This time, any variation of your choice. May feel nice to take a chest expansion grip or a twist, left hand down, right arm high, feel your chest open. And if you need to switch sides, be sure to do so. For the twist, right hand down, left arm up. And make your way, two hands, two feet to your mat. One inhale in. And exhale, walk your hands towards your left foot. Find low lunge position. Pivot ten toes to point forward. Look forward and breathe in. Step forward as you exhale, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, reach back. Exhale, fold forward and dive down. Inhale, mountain, legs straight, arms high. Exhale, hands to your heart, soft gaze or closed eyes. Take a breath in. Exhale, arms by your sides. Open your eyes, breathe in and find mountain. This time, chair legs with airplane arms. Breathe out, sit down, reach back. Right knee to your chest, inhale, one-legged mountain. Left leg straight, arms up. Continue to breathe as you draw both hands to your heart for figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Carefully bend your left knee. 
Gaze to a spot that's not moving, either on the ground or straight ahead of you. Find your balance and the stretch for your right outer hip. Stay low and breathe here for three. One-legged mountain is your release in two. And one, right knee to your chest. Inhale, arms go up. Chair legs, airplane arms, breathe out, sit down, reach back. Switch legs, right foot stays down. Inhale, left knee to your chest, arms go high. Figure four, take your time, hands to heart. Cross left ankle over your right thigh. Carefully bend your right knee. Find your drishti, gaze to a single point. And feel your hip and your breath. Sit lower, get lower for three. Rise in two. And one, one leg in mountain. Left knee to your chest for a breath. Chair legs, airplane arms, feet together. Bend your knees and reach back. Stay in your chair. When you inhale, reach up. And to exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, reach behind you. Exhale, fold forward and separate your feet hip width distance. Either ragdoll, reach for your elbows, or piece fingers around your big toes, or gorilla, palms face up, slide your hands beneath your feet, toes to the creases of your wrists. If you have your big toes or hands beneath your feet, look up when you inhale and lengthen. Big exhale, fold in, top of your head towards the ground. Find your breath, no matter which variation you've chosen. And also shift weight slightly forward towards the ball mounds of your feet. Feel a big stretch for the back of your body. Stretch out your breath. One long inhale. And exhale, shift weight to your heels. Let go of your toes or release your hands from your feet. Bring your hands to the mat and heel toe your feet together. Take a halfway lift, reach back and breathe in. High plank pose as you exhale, top of a push-up. Forearm plank, lower one elbow and forearm at a time. Stack your elbows underneath your shoulders and press your heels firmly towards whatever is behind you. Keep your legs engaged and your abdominal muscles fired on. Chin off your chest, back of your neck stays long for five. Breathe, four. Anahatasana in three, that's puppy pose in two. And one, knees down, lift your seat up. Lower your chest and your chin towards the ground. Breathe here, stretch underneath your arms. And rock slowly, side to side. Sphinx pose, look forward, shift forward, stay on your forearms, but let your knees and thighs come down. Tops of your feet on the ground. Elbows stay beneath your shoulders and lift your chest up. Can you bring your belly button off the mat, but keep the front of your hips down? Gaze forward and retract your chin. Back of your neck lengthens. Stay like this and visualize the transition back to forearm plank. Look between your thumbs. Continue to breathe and curl your toes under, ball mounds of your feet down. Lift your knees away from the ground and then your thighs and hover your torso. Forearm plank pose, last five, four, Three, high plank in two, 
And one, one hand at a time. You can always lower your knees down. Come to high plank and breathe in. Downward facing dog when you breathe out. Great job, stay with me here. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep and set up half pigeon. Set your ankle behind your left wrist and your knee behind your right wrist. Scoot your left leg long behind you. Lift up your chest and take a proud inhale. Exhale, fold forward any amount. You can stay more upright or fold down. If possible, rest your forehead. Take some time to ease into this stretch and send your breath to your right outer hip. You're headed into a seated sequence from here. If you'd rather stay where you are, remain just like this for as long as you'd like. Or come with me through seated separate leg stretch and fire log pose. For those options, open your eyes and lift your head, lift your chest. Ground your palms and shift weight to your right hip. Bring your left leg around and out at an angle in front. Right foot to your upper inner left thigh. Left leg out, right foot folds in. Face your extended leg and reach up when you inhale. As you exhale, fold upper body over your left thigh. Reach for your lower leg or the edges of your foot. Feel a stretch for your lower back, right side, and the back of your left thigh. Slight tuck of your chin for a few more breaths. And either stay as you are or take fire log pose next. For that hip opener, you'll slowly rise from seated separate leg stretch. And bring your right heel a little bit further away from you. Shin nearly parallel with the top edge of your mat. Using your hands to stack left ankle on top of your right knee. Ideally, stacking your knees and your ankle. There may be distance between left knee and right ankle. That's okay. Either stay upright or tip your torso forward any amount and walk your hands forward a little bit as well. Adjust or readjust at any time. Feel this in your hips and lower back. If you stayed in half pigeon, consider rising in the next few cycles of breath. If you're here in fire log, your next move is boat pose. From fire log, walk your hands back towards your legs, realign your spine. Hands behind you to unfurl your legs and bring your shins parallel with your mat. Reach your arms forward, gaze forward, and lift your chest up. Stay like this for five. Breathe four. Last three. Optional chaturanga in two. Cross your ankles for one. Draw your heels near your seat. Roll over them. Plant your palms and uncross your legs. Step back to high plank. Final optional chaturanga. Up dog and cobra. 
Final downward facing dog for your vinyasa practice today. Take a moment or two in this downward facing dog in preparation for side two. Stay for your inhale. Optional open mouth, exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, and then half pigeon stretch. Set left shin down and scoot your right leg long behind you. Proud inhale, chest up. When you're ready, humble pigeon, breathe out and fold any amount. Take some time to breathe on this side. Noticing if it feels more, less, or the same intensity as the first side. Continue to practice your ujjayi pranayama. And either stay like this, linger longer, or consider making your way to seated separate leg stretching for your second side. When you're ready for that, you'll begin to slowly rise and make your way to your palm. Shift weight to your left hip and bring your right leg around and out at an angle. Left foot to your upper inner right thigh. Face your right leg and raise your arms up when you inhale. I found some web results. I can show them if you ask again from your iPhone. Raise your arms up when you inhale. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Reach for what's available on this side and feel the stretch, lower back left and the back of your right thigh. Stay like this and breathe. Nice deep breath in, long exhale, breathe out. When this side feels balanced with the first, prepare for fire log and slowly make your way upright. Bring your left heel forward slightly, shin parallel or nearly with the top front edge of your mat. And use your hands to stack your right ankle on top of your left knee. It's okay if there's space between right knee and left ankle. And stay upright or tip your torso forward and walk your hands and arms forward. Feel this so good for your hip. Continue to breathe slowly and steadily, bringing harmony to your body, mind, spirit, and breath. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Great job. Slowly rise if you were forward. Bring your hands behind you. Unfurl your legs. One more boat pose. Shins parallel with the mat. Reach forward and breathe in. 
Low boat when you exhale, hover heels and shoulder blades. One time, pick it back up. Turn your palms face down, hands on the ground behind your seat, and lean back until your elbows come down. Breathe in and lift your feet straight up. Breathe out and lower your heels to hover or tap the mat. Inhale, legs lift. Exhale, lower slow. Keep going a couple times. Option to lift your chin and look up slightly. Keep your shoulders on your back, your chest open. This is it. Go for five. Squeeze four. Belly in for three. Stay with it. Two. And one. Bend your knees. Bring your left arm forward. Bring your right arm forward. Feet down. Look down. Lower all the way onto the ground. Excellent job. Sit your head down and pick up both feet. Draw your knees to your chest. Any leg variation, supine twist. I like to cross right leg over the left, two knees to the left, and gaze to the right. Arms out wide or self-adjust if you'd like. Stay like this more time if you need. Switch sides when you're ready. For second side, unravel, unwind, uncross your legs and recross left leg over the right. One or both knees to the right and gaze to the left. One more legs up the wall pose when you feel complete. Make your way back through center and extend two feet straight up. Hold the back of your thighs and feel length in the back of your legs. You can make more circles with your ankles. Make your way to happy baby. Separate your feet wide. Knees bend to any amount. Reach for your lower legs or edges of your feet and pull down gently. And rock slowly from side to side. Amazing practice today, everyone. Beautiful work. Make your way to the center. Collect your knees back into your chest for a squeeze. Wrap your arms around your shins. Draw your forehead towards your knees and take a breath in. Exhale, final Shavasana. Set your head down and your feet to the ground. You can keep your knees bent and feet flat or extend your legs forward and long. Relax your arms and close your eyes. Allow your entire body to rest for a few moments. Harmonize with every cell in your being. Meditate and integrate all the wonderful benefits from your incredible practice here today.
may stay in Shavasana. Meditate and rest for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to be guided out, begin to deepen your breath once again and invite some gentle movements into your physical body. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. And reach your arms back. Take a full body stretch. Reach for what's behind you. Stay as you are or collect your knees and roll to a fetal position on either side. Curl up and rest to the right or to the left and reflect upon your practice today. As you feel ready to rise and find a comfortable seat. Arrive with a tall spine and soft shoulders, a soft gaze or closed eyes, and unite your palms together at the center of your heart. A gesture of gratitude called Anjali Mudra in Sanskrit. You seal in your practice with the Sanskrit word Namaste, which means the divine light within me honors and reflects the divine light inside of you and in all things. Draw your thumbs near the center of your forehead Take a harmonious breath in. As you exhale, bow forward gently in honor of your light and your practice. With gratitude and with love from my heart straight to yours. Namaste. Very strong, amazing practice. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Live every week on Wednesday, 4.30 Pacific Standard Time on Zoom. Or this recording on my website, aliyayoga.com or Alia Yoga on YouTube. If you'd like to leave a donation, always appreciated. That information will be below. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback, always love to chat. Now have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. Until the next time, namaste.